So the Champions Day basket then kicks off with the long distance cup. It's a two mile group two and Looney Tunes are going to try and give the penalty away and over the shorter distance for Paul Rhodes. Charming Princess, David Hooley, Lakeland Highlands, Darren Thompson, Reno Response, Vinnie Gerard, Al Manzor, Dan Hughes, Baltic October, Graham Critterbuck, Diamond Jubilee, Craig Beckwith, Fausong Lenore, David Robertson, King at Night, Leon Van Rensburg, October Tiger, Graham Critterbuck, Secret Plans, Leon Van Rensburg, Hidden Stance, Craig Allen, Miramir, Padre Hogan, Roaring Hawk, Dan Hughes, Someone Told You, David Hooley, Wheel of Fortune, Craig Beckwith and Illusoria, Beata, Paul Rhodes, a massive field for this then, 17 of them, not the sort of size field we'd expect for this one I wouldn't have thought, I'm really running about 8 or 10 but there's a lot of them in this and a long way to go, and away they go, and who's going to be the one to take them along? Reno response and October Tiger close up so to Al Manzor, Fausson Lenore, the grey down is near side. We've got three greys in this one. And it's gonna be October Tiger, I think it's gonna come through to take it up for Grand Clutterbox. So October Tiger is gonna be the leader then through the first couple of furlongs with Ilasoria Beata in second as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit of the track to go. And it's a one-three for Graham Clutterbuck at the moment as Baltic October moves into third round the outside of Al Manzor. The ground inside Faust Alanor is fourth. Then comes Looney Tune. So Paul Rhodes' pair are both prominent as well. The third, the second of the greys is David Hooley's um, Charming Princess. The third grey is the one in the blue jacket down towards the back. That's Roaring Hawk. But it's October Tiger, who's clear at the moment by a good four lengths to Faust Alanor and this Illusoria Beata. We're well, sharing second. Almond's always behind them in fourth, and then comes Baltic October and Looney Tunes, and then So I Told You. And we have Diamond Jubilee behind that one, then the Grey Charming Princess, Diamond Jubilee. In front of that one, with White on the track, King at Night, towards the back secret plans, is just the back marker. With October Tiger, he's three clear of Faust on Lenore in second. Baltic October is third, and Asoria Beata going well enough between the two of them in fourth. Looney Tunes is poised in fifth. Then Al Manzor, and so I told you, Diamond Jubilee behind them. King at night, widest on the track, Lightland Highlands just in inside of that one. Also, Miramir and Charming Princess are next coming through there. Reno Response, Wheel of Fortune has got work to do. So is Roaring Hawk, Hidden Stats and Secret Plans are out the back at this point. They've got seven furlongs still to go then in the Long Distance Cup. And it's October Tiger who leads by the best part of two. Two Faust on Lenore, who's now a clear second. Then it's Illusoria Beata, Al Manzor, so I told you. Is next Looney Tunes being pushed along Baltic October looking for racing room. Look, Lakeland Highlands coming round the outside, also still there on the outside is King at Night. Reno Response is trying to find a gap through as well, but it's October Tiger who's still in the lead by about a length and a half. Two Faust on Lenore in second, Illusoria Beata third. So I told you, Almanzor Baltic October Looney Tunes not picking up at this stage. And it's October Tiger who's beginning to turn into the straight then with a lead of two or three lengths and he's kicking on again. It's it's October Tiger clear from Faust on Lenore back in second. Secret Plunge has been pulled up injured at the back, but it's October Tiger clear of Faust on Lenore in second. Big gap then back to Illusoria Beata. So I told you, Almanzo Baltic October after that one, but they've got a lot to do to cast this October Tiger. Two and a half furlongs to go, and October Tiger is still too clear. Faust on Lenore though is getting closer. So I told you, it's moving into third. Illusoria Beata, Almanzo's after that one. Here come the pack now, roaring all mirror mirror on the outside, and suddenly the lead changes. Faust on Lenore. Kicks on in the lead. It's Faust on the north then coming down towards the furlong pole. Clear by two. Two, so I told you in second. Illa saw you be out to third. Charming Princess is running around in a fourth, but it's the grey Faust on the north who's clear and is not going to be caught. And racing up towards the line is going to be Faust on the north takes it. We know his spot second, so I told you. Charming Princess is a story of Beata hidden stance. Looney tunes nowhere today. Over a trip that was obviously too short for him and. David Robertson's run of form continues as he takes another big win. Fausong Lenore, the winner for David Robertson. Reno response for Vinnie Gerard second. So I told you, David Hooley was third. Charming Princess for David Hooley again was fourth. And Illusoria Beata for Paul Rhodes was fifth. Grand Clutterbuck normally does well in these races. Both of his dropped away Baltic October and October Tiger. So too did Looney Tunes under that big penalty. Only beat one home in the end. 
as the other one was pulled up. But Faust on an all takes it for David Robinson.